I was about to graduate high school and kind of need to find a job to save money to go to college. You know, I grew up very poor, so my parents didn't really have a college fund for me. I wanted to go to school to be an actor and, you know, growing up with foreign parents, if they were going to give you money, it wasn't definitely go to an acting school. So I was like, you know what, I got to get a job, but I want to do something I really like. One of my boys was like, hey, man, we should be trainers. I was like, trainers? Like, yeah, I'm like, fuck do we know about training? I don't go to school. He said, yeah, but we know everything about training. We just have to scale it down for the average person. I was like, all right, so what do you got in mind? He's like, listen, we can make like 50 bucks an hour as a personal trainer. I'm like, 50 bucks an hour? Like, bro, get fucking real. Mm-hmm. Like, minimum wage is 550. We're going to make 10x minimum wage with no college degree. They're like, yeah, bro, we can do it. So I get a job at LA Fitness. And for the first nine months, didn't even really know what my job was. I would train people every day that were assigned to me. But I didn't know my job was to sell. So I was in the sales side of, um, of, the fit, of the fitness industry working at the gym. My job was to sit down with Mrs. Jones, do an assessment, kind of assess her goals, gather up her past, draw from her experience, help her invest her, that into the future by buying a training program. And then when they would buy a training program, we would hand them off to a personal trainer. You know, um, I didn't know I signed up for a sales position, but when I sat down with my manager at the time, because of my outgoing personality, he put me in a sales position as a personal trainer as opposed to being a personal trainer that just same the same clients over and over and over. Nine months go by, I'm barely making enough just to pay for my drinks, my protein shakes, my pre-workouts, the bus ride, all the food. You know, when you're uh, really into fitness and you're meal prepping, it eats up a lot of your capital that you're making as a teenager. So. Nine months go by, I graduate high school. Two months after graduating high school, I'm like, fuck, I really gotta get it together. One day, I, 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 I believe that life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. One day I go to lunch, I come back. There was like, I think eight people on the sales staff and like six personal trainers. We come back and everyone's fired, except for me. I have no fucking clue, I suck just as much as them. But for whatever reason, I wasn't fired. Mm-hmm. So my boss wound up actually quitting as well because the company was making cutbacks. They were really, really tight on um, getting the sales where they need to be. We're good. No, I'm just saying. Okay. I don't know if you want to get an umbrella. Are you on an umbrella? You're good? Are you guys good? I'm good. Very good. Yeah. Um, so I was like, you know what? All right, no worries. Um, he wound up quitting. We get, a new, we get a new boss. The boss just happens to be friends with one of the top sales guys in the entire country. Number one in sales, would always see his name on the chart. And one day we went to a sales meeting. My last boss never took us to the sales meeting. I went to the sales meeting, I meet all these guys that are making 50, 60, $70,000 a year as a personal trainer doing sales. And you don't really know what's possible for you until you see somebody else do it. So I saw these people making a fortune. You know, at the time, making $60,000, this is 15 years ago, it's equivalent to making like 100 grand these days as a personal trainer at LA Fitness. So I was like, damn, they're really fucking killing it. I would love to also do it. So I asked them, I'm like, what do you do different? They're like, well, we read. Leaders are readers. The only difference between what I know, the only difference between where I am and where you are is what I know. I'm like, well, what is it that you know? They gave me these books on sales. I had like $100 of my name. I went to Barnes & Noble the same day, I bought every book they told me about. And then I became a, a, a reader. I started extracting as much information as possible out of these books. There's two ways you can learn things, right? You can learn things organically, or you can learn it synthetically. You can learn through your own experience, which can take you a decade or more, or you can learn in 10 hours by extracting somebody else's experience. Because again, that person gathered up their past, they drew from their experiences, and they invested it into a book. So you can get a decade's worth of information in about 10 hours.